What's up? I'm the developer for First Person Stapler, and I wanted to take a moment to talk about the art style in this game. The game is very heavily inspired by Office Space, so I wanted to have some 90s aesthetics. I looked at the PS1 graphics for a while. They're beautiful, and most importantly for a solo developer, and easy to make, although they're very drab. So instead, I stole a color palette from the Sega Genesis. This is the Sega Dreamcast, but you know, still bright popping colors. Even though we're splicing in some of the Sega looks, we're still largely using techniques from the PS1 community. Everything is a maximum of 256 by 256 textured. A lot of things are 128 by 128 or even 64 by 64 for the sprites. I could have gone a more traditional PlayStation 1 way and taken real pictures and mashed them into textures off of that, which would have saved me a lot of time, but that wouldn't have given me the color palette that I wanted. So everything is hand drawn. A lot of shadow work is also built into the textures to begin with, which sometimes looks weird when you kick a computer over and you see the bottom of it still has a shadow drawn onto it, but it mostly looks good. Like the couch cushions look like they're accepting shadows the right way even though it's just a flat texture. That technique specifically I wanted to use after reading about how the old Tomb Raiders were built. Anyway, this is just a short little video to tell you why the game looks how it looks, and how I made it look that way. Not a lot of detail. Thanks for watching. Check out the game.